Hello, this video briefing provides guidance on the use of the new Instrument Flight Procedures Information Gateway. The IFP Gateway is a one stop shop for procedure documents. The website is intended for use by all concerned parties with respect to procedure publication, to include air traffic control, FPT offices, third party TERPS businesses and the aviation community. The main page shows the total number of airports with procedures. And this is further broken down by state or territory. You can also browse by region or service area. To view IFP information, enter an airport ID, city, or airport name. Or, you can select a state from the map. An advanced search feature is also available, which will allow you to narrow your search via location, publication date, and you can even search for specific airways and fixes. Let's search for a fix named, Kozar. There are four different containers for documents. If applicable, the Charts tab will contain all currently published charts. Production plan results will indicate the procedure name, location data, scheduled publication date, status, and actual publication date. The status options include, pending, under development, at flight check. Awaiting publication. Published, which will also include the actual publication date. And lastly, awaiting cancellation. The IFP coordination tab will contain pertinent documentation for the procedure or fix. Let's take a look at the documents for COSAR. The available documents include the PTS task, the Dash 2 for COSAR, and a combined file, which includes both the PTS task and the Dash 2. You can single click or double click a file to open it, however, many users will want to open these PDF files in a new tab. To do so, simply right click on the document and select Open in New Tab. The document has been opened in a new tab. For transmittal letters and the navigation database review, let's take a look at Bay City, Texas. Once the results appear, you can open the procedure in a new tab. The procedure graphic and documentation records are available. Before we move on, let's take a look at narrowing the scope of searches by using filter options. This may be too many results to work with, but we can use the filter options to narrow the list. Much better. Each container has a unique set of filter options. Let's log into the gateway, where we can sign up to receive notices whenever there is an update or status change for a specific airport. Your next gen credentials will not work with this site, so you will need to sign up. Enter your information and click register.
After you have successfully signed up, you will receive a validation email, which has a link that you must click in order to confirm your account. Let's log in. Now that we've signed in, let's set up a notification for an airport. All airports have a button to add or remove a notification. Clicking Notify adds the airport to your notifications list, and you will receive an email for updates and status changes. Another way to remove a notification is to go into your account. Within My Account, you can change your profile information and manage your notifications. We hope you enjoyed this video and find the IFP Gateway to be very useful. Please contact us at this email address if you have any comments or concerns.